Alright, welcome back to More Than PG's Gaming. I'm your host, Mune, uh, and today we're going to be tackling this great thing called the Temple of the Spider. This is a normal version, requires you to be level 50 or above. Uh, pretty easy area, uh, it's connected to the Roth Valley area of the game. Uh, but without further ado, we are we already got our three people and we're all 3,000 item level or more, so this should be a piece of cake. But we're going to be going over some basics uh, for the dungeon as well as some shortcuts and strategies for getting through some harder content. Okay? Um, so... First and foremost, you will notice that I am a tank in here and I'm going first. It's not always necessarily the case in the normal version. I'm just running these dungeons because uh, I like to do tutorials and I want to make sure everybody can benefit from doing these. Alright. So, first things first, going to run into each of these rooms. It's pretty straightforward for a little while. Um, there are a little bit of... Uh, things hidden from view. Uh, you gotta watch out for the assassins in the dungeon because they do like to pop up, especially behind you, and they do do quite a bit of damage if you're not high enough level. Uh, in the master version, they can straight up kill some of the characters. Uh, one of the first secrets that you might not know is there's a treasure chest off the left here. Uh, if you're speed running this or uh, just wanting the chest at the end, uh, you would just run past this. Second shortcut, or first shortcut, is you jump off this platform, you will end up down here, um, skipping quite a few enemies. It's a nice way to segue right into what you want to do. Uh, there is nothing over here, just a heads up, so we're just going to go ahead and go straight through the door. There are a few secrets here. There is, I believe, some treasure off to the left. That's why there there are a few enemies. Uh, I'm going to go over here to double check, just in case. Uh, nope, maybe not. Okay, there's just additional enemies, for whatever reason. Um, always thought they were guarding something, but I always skip them. You can skip them, so not to be alarmed. Uh, and here we have our first boss. At first when you fight him, you think it's going to be uh, a three against one battle, but then uh, he'll start bringing in some minions. Uh, some good strategies on this are stay away from the edges, because the edges are dangerous. Uh, once you are done with the battle, you walk over to this edge and you walk across and as you walk across it will collapse and if you aren't watching yourself you will die uh you will get ambushed by a few spiders here all right there is the treasure chest if you want it i'm not going to grab it nothing special for me uh but to get back since your way back has been poorly handled you have to walk off this way and pretty much jump or drop down and walk back across Somebody else got the lever, so that's good. This area is pretty much uh, self-explanatory. Just kind of run through it. Uh, a drider will pop in, and you'll need to defeat the drider before the drider takes out you. Um, do not leave any enemies alive in this first room because they will follow you. Uh, here is our second shortcut is if you are over here and off to the left, just kind of squeeze on by right there and walk up to our second boss. Not very far uh, in between for the bosses. So this boss is a little trickier because uh, he gets way more minions way quicker and I'm just gonna go ahead and start beating on him really quick because I don't want all the minions to pop out so quickly. Um, there are additional things here. You don't necessarily have to 
uh, get any of the stuff, but you can run right towards the door. Otherwise, there are treasure chests, and there is a uh, phase spider over here, as well as some more enemies if you wish to kill them. In addition, nothing special in the chest, and I'm going to pick up this item real quick. I always check around for things that are uh, of worth, but I also like to hunt down uh, mimics. So be aware that uh, mimics are kind of a thing in the master dungeons and the epic dungeons. So around this corner there will be an assassin waiting for you to pass. It's a very smart move. I've seen people die from this assassin because they didn't know it was coming. I don't know what Ophelia is doing, but apparently going over to this arcane skill kit. Okay, um, in this area there are some phase fighters. Um, getting quite a little lag. Um, so be aware that they do spawn here. They do kind of catch you off by surprise. Knock down this pillar, and then we're going to use our third shortcut, which is just simply drop down to the left. Alright, so skipping quite a few enemies by doing this. Uh, it'll come in handy if you're trying to speedrun this. I mean, if you normally go up this way, you would fight more enemies. There isn't really any treasure. So, we're going to open up the next door. Okay. So this one's a little easier. You can make your decision on which way you want to go. If you go left, there's enemies. If you go right, there's enemies. Um, on the left, there's uh, four of these spider guys. Uh, and if you go right, they just kind of drop in right away. Uh, and there's, what is this, five more over here? And a treasure chest. Treasure chest isn't all that important. It's just another treasure chest. Um... Some people fall for it, and then there's a, that spider. Okay, this is the part where it's a little weird for a trick. Uh, if you have a control wizard, or a archer, or something like that, uh, I'm going to tell them to shoot from here. Right here. Right here. Over here. Okay. You'll notice that the phase spider came launching in. If you have a control wizard or a hunter ranger, they're standing right there and they peck them off, they will just instantly fall. So you don't even really have to fight them and they will die. So it's one of those weird strategies that uh, one of my control wizard friends told me about. Uh, I thought it was pretty ingenious. So, just a heads up, that does exist. It's one of the weirdest strategies ever. Moving along, we have come up to the Temple of the Spider. Um, we're almost to the boss. Uh, again, like I said, do not use this as a main template for the Master Version, because the Master Version does differ a little bit based off of the difficulty and the amount of damage you take, as well as how the final boss is introduced. The mechanics of this battle are pretty straightforward. You to feed her. So, High Priestess uh, Sin Sindrith. Uh, there isn't anything special about her mechanics. Uh, 
She doesn't even transform, which is kind of disappointing. Um, she does drop items, like every other boss. And you have a chest up here. This is not the master version, so I wouldn't even worry about it. Um, unless you're wanting that. So, that does it for the Temple of the Spider. Pretty straightforward for the most part, but there are some shortcuts, which definitely reduce the amount of time it takes to get through it. Hopefully this was a very informative uh, tutorial. Uh, and hopefully it keeps people alive running through the dungeon. Um, I'm going to be moving on to our next dungeon here in a moment. But again, if you have not had the chance to actually look at my other tutorials, please take a look, especially if you're curious. Uh, I've already done quite a few at this point. I've done uh, everything up to the Temple of the Spider in the listing. So please take a look. Um, and if you like them, like them. All right. Thank you so much, and hopefully this was very informative.